Dear students, welcome you all to VTU e Shikshana program. In our uh, previous class, I have given a brief introduction on uh, electrochemistry. We have discussed and understood uh, the basic concepts uh, uh, such as uh, free energy, what free energy is and uh, what is E cell, E naught cell and uh, we understood the working principle of uh, galvanic cells and uh, we also understood the differences between uh, the electrolytic and uh, electrolytic cells and uh, galvanic cells. Then uh, we derived a Nernst equation for uh, single electrode potential. In today's class, we will be solving uh, numerical problems making use of uh, Nernst equation. In last class, we derived uh, the Nernst equation, so for single electrode potential. So, the mathematical expression of a Nernst equation is uh, for, a, for single electrode potential is E is equal to E naught plus uh, 0 0.0591 divided by N log uh, to the base 10 of M N plus. So, this equation is uh, known as uh, Nern, the Nernst equation for uh, single electrode potential. So, making use of uh, this, this equation, we shall solve uh, the numerical problems. So, I think this also I have told. So, the Nernst equation for a cell is uh, see uh, E cell is equal to E naught cell. See, I have taken a simple uh, equation, electrochemical equation A moles of A plus B moles of B give uh, C moles of C and D moles of D. A moles of A combined with B moles of B and the products are C moles of C and D moles of D. So, EMF of uh, the cell is E naught cell minus 2.303, 2.303 RT divided by NF log C, C rise to C. So, C rise to C the products will be um, uh, in the will come in the numerator will be represented as uh, the products will be represented as the numerator and uh, the reactants will be represented as uh, the denominator. So, log C rise to C D rise to D divided by A rise to A multiplied by B rise to B. Okay. So, we shall solve uh, the problems making use of uh, this uh, Nernst equation. See problem 1, give the representation of a standard cadmium copper cell, write the electrode and cell reactions and uh, calculate the standard EMF of the cell. If standard electrode potentials of cadmium and copper are minus 0 0.4 volt and 0 0.34 volt respectively. So, first we need to understand the problem given. See, give the representation of a standard cadmium copper cell. First, we need to represent uh, the what uh, the cell, the cell is made of. Uh, these two electrodes cadmium and copper, write the electrode and cell reactions. We need to give the anodic and uh, the cathodic reactions, calculate the standard EMF of the cell. So, we need to calculate the standard EMF, standard EMF of the cell. If standard electrode potentials of cadmium and copper are minus 0 0.4 volt and plus 0 0.34 volt respectively. So, they have given the standard electrode potentials of cadmium and uh, copper. The standard SRP of uh, cadmium is minus 0 0.4 volt and uh, that of copper is plus 0 0.34 volt. So, first we need to represent the cell. So, the cell is made of uh, cadmium, the two electrodes cadmium and copper. So, we need to decide which one is anode, we need to find out which one is anode, which electrode is anode and which metal acts as cathode. The metal which has low SRP, see among these two cadmium and copper given, cadmium has an SRP of minus uh, 0 0.34 uh, uh, 
uh, minus 0 0.4 volt and uh, copper has a potential of uh, standard electrode potential of plus 0.34 volt. Therefore, cadmium is anode and uh, copper acts as cathode. So, this is the cell representation. So, by convention anode should be written on the left and uh, the, the metal that acts as which acts as cathode should be written on the right. Therefore, C D slash C D 2 plus I have told in uh, the in our previous class that uh, this line this single vertical line represents the phase difference between a metal and its ions. So, C D separated by C D 2 plus two vertical lines these two vertical lines represent the salt bridge C U 2 plus slash C U. So, initially C U 2 plus ions will be there they get reduced as copper. So, electrode this is how the electrode uh, the, I am sorry the cell is represented C D slash C D 2 plus since uh, it is a standard cell 1 molar 1 molar electrode reactions we need to give at the anode we need we should remember one thing that it is always oxidation that occurs at the anodic site. So, cadmium since cadmium is anode cadmium undergoes oxidation to give C D 2 plus C D 2 plus and the electrons are released those electrons migrate into the cathodic area and uh, the C U 2 plus ions that are present in the cathodic uh, container get reduced as copper. So, current cannot flow from one point to another point unless there is a potential difference between the two points. So, this potential difference the potential difference between the two electrodes which causes the flow of electrons from anode to cathode or the flow of current in the opposite direction is nothing but the EMF of the cell right. So, electrons are released into the anodic uh, released by the anodic site and those electrons travel into the cathodic area into the cathodic container and uh, the electrons are taken up by Cu 2 plus ions. So, that copper gets deposited on the what is it, the electrode cathode. So, the net the cell reaction is C D plus C U 2 plus give C D 2 plus plus C U right. So, how to calculate the standard EMF? So, E naught cell this should be E naught E naught cell is equal to E cell as we all know is E cathode minus E anode E right electrode minus E left electrode is the EMF of the cell. E naught cell is E naught cathode minus E naught anode. E naught cathode, E naught cathode is copper. So, E naught C u minus E naught C d. So, these two values are given E naught of C d is minus 0 I am sorry E naught of yes correct E naught of C d is minus 0 0.4 volt and E naught of C u is plus 0 0.34 volt. Therefore, 0 0.34 minus 0. Point minus minus 0 0.4. So, this is minus 7.4 volt. So, the standard EMF of the given cadmium copper cell is minus 0 0.74 volt. One more problem we shall solve. Write the cell representation cell reaction and calculate the standard EMF of nickel silver cell NiAg cell if E naught of Ni and E naught of Ag are minus 0 0.25 volt and plus 0 0.8 volt respectively. Write the cell representation. So, we need to represent the cell ok. Cell reaction we need to give the anode as well as the cathode reactions as well as the net reaction the net cell reaction we are supposed to write and calculate the standard EMF standard EMF E naught cell standard EMF of a Ni Ag cell if E naught of Ni and E naught of Ag are 0 minus 0 0.25 volt and 0 0.8 volt respectively. So, cell representation so, 
as I told, as I have already told, anode should be on the left and cathode should be written on the right. So, while representing the cell, this is anode and this is cathode. So, how to find out uh, that also I have how to find out which electrode is uh, which electrode acts as anode and uh, which electrode acts as uh, cathode. So, it depends on their uh, SRP values, standard reduction potential values. The values are given E naught of Na is minus 0 0.25 volt and E naught of uh, Ag is 0 0.8 volt. The metal with low SRP acts as this is anode, this is anode and uh, the metal with uh, see among these two this has high SRP value. So, this acts as cathode. Therefore, Ni slash Na2 plus since it is a standard cell 1 molar Ag plus slash Ag. So, this is the representation of this given nickel Ag cell. Then the anodic reaction, anodic reaction is always oxidation therefore, Ni undergoes oxidation it forms Na2 plus and electrons are released and the electrons migrate into the cathodic chamber and uh, they are see Ag plus combines with the electrons so that Ag is formed see Ag plus plus electron give Ag. So, this is the reaction. So, the net cell reaction is this multiplied by 2. Therefore, it becomes 2 Ag plus plus 2 electron give 2 Ag. So, electrons, electrons these two get cancelled. So, the net cell reaction is Na plus 2 Ag plus give Na2 plus 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 2 Ag. So, standard EMF again this should be E naught cell, standard EMF of uh, the cell is E naught cathode minus E naught anode. So, cathode is uh, silver and nickel is uh, the anode therefore, 0 0.8 minus minus of minus 0 0.25 because the SRP of uh, nickel given is minus 0.25 volt 0 0.8 minus of minus 0 0.25 is 1.05 volt. So, we need to carefully understand the given problem, then we should start solving the problem. We shall solve one more uh, problem making use of uh, Nernst equation. So, for the cell Fe slash Fe2 plus of 0 0.01 molar slash Ag plus of 0 0.1 molar slash Ag, write the cell reaction and calculate the EMF of the cell at 298 Kelvin. If standard electrode potentials of iron Fe and Ag electrodes are minus 0 0.44 volt and 0 0.8 volt respectively. For the cell Fe slash Fe2 plus slash Ag plus slash Ag, write the cell reaction. Calculate the EMF of the cell at 298 Kelvin. If standard electrode potential, the standard electrode potentials of iron and Ag are given and their values are minus 0 0.44 volt and 0 0.8 volt respectively. So, E naught of Fe is equal to minus 0 0.44 volt E naught of uh, Ag right silver correct is 0 0.8 volt. So, cell is already given this is the given cell Fe slash Fe2 plus slash Ag plus slash Ag. So, first we need to write uh, the cell reactions anodic the reactions, reaction that occurs at uh, the anode and uh, the reaction that takes place at the cathode. So, Fe gives Fe2 plus plus 2 electrons, this is the reaction that takes place at uh, the anode 
anodic reaction is always oxidation. So, here uh, iron is this is anode, iron is anode and uh, silver is uh, this is cathode. So, F e undergoes oxidation to give F e 2 plus and electrons are released and at the cathode A g plus plus uh, electron forms they form A g at multiplied by 2. So, this is the net reaction, the, net, the cell reaction is F e plus 2 A g plus give F e 2 plus plus 2 A g. So, E naught cell we all know that E naught cell is E naught cathode right, E naught cell is E naught cathode minus E naught anode right, E naught cathode minus E naught anode that is what I have written here, cathode is silver and uh, iron is uh, uh, um, anode, cathode minus anode therefore E naught of A g minus E naught F e. So, 0 0.8 this is the potential of uh, what uh, uh, silver given 0.8 minus 0 0.44 volt. So, E naught cell is 1.24 volt, this is the standard EMF E naught cell. But what we need to find, what we need to find out, calculate the EMF of the cell, we need to find out the EMF of the cell. E naught cell just now we have calculated. So, by applying Nernst equation, that Nernst equation for a for an electrochemical reaction A A plus B B, I have already told A A plus B B C C A A plus B B C C plus D D. So, E is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT divided by NF to sorry RT divided by this eraser 2.303 minus 2.303 RT divided by NF log C to the power C D to the power D a to the power A, B to the power B. So, by applying uh, Nernst equation for uh, a cell E is equal to E naught minus, so these values I have already substituted the values of R and uh, F and even the value of N, uh, number of moles of electrons 2. Then, uh, T 298 Kelvin. So, 0 0.0591 divided by N log C, this is C and this is D. C rise to C, this is 1, 1 moles of Fe 2 plus ions. C rise to C, this is C, Fe 2 plus 1. D rise to D, this is D and uh, small d is 2. So, A g rise to 2 divided by A rise to A 1 F e therefore, F e A g plus this is A this is B. So, B rise to B, B is A g plus rise to B this, this is 2. So, E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log. So, these two this uh, F e 2 plus and uh, the see F e molar concentration of F e and uh, A g is equal to 1 for pure solids. Since it is 1, I have substituted the values 1 for uh, this and uh, this. So, this will be E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log F e 2 plus divided by A g plus rise to 2. So, E is equal to E naught 
minus 0 0.0591 divided by n, the value of n is 2 here log 0. Point, these two values are, see, the values are given 0.1, the, molar, the concentration of Ag plus is 0. 0.1 molar, and whereas the concentration of Ap2 plus is 0. 0.01 molar. We shall substitute those two values here. So, log 0. 0.01 divided by 0. 0.1 to the, is to the power 2. So, so this becomes 1.24 minus 0. 0.0591 divided by 2, this is 2, the value of n is 2, log 1. Log 1 is 0, therefore, it becomes 1.24 volts. Right. So, one more problem we shall solve. These are all uh, quite simple and interesting. So, you calculate the EMF of the following uh, zinc silver cell at 23 degrees Celsius. If the concentration of zinc sulphate and AgNO3 are 0 0.18 molar, 0 0.0301 molar respectively, given that E0 of Zn2 plus slash Zn is equal to minus 0 0.75 volt and E0 of Ag plus slash Ag is equal to 0 0.8 volt. So, please understand the problem given. Calculate the EMF of the following. They have given the cell. Say it is the cell is zinc, uh, cell is made of zinc and silver and uh, the potential of the cell should be calculated at 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, it is not 25 degrees Celsius, it is 23 degrees Celsius. If the concentrations of zinc sulphate and the concentration values of zinc sulphate and AgNO3 are given, they are 0 0.18 and 0 0.0301 molar respectively and they have given the these two values E0 of Zn2 plus slash Zn, E0 of uh, this zinc. Uh, standard electrode potential, standard electrode potential of zinc and uh, Ag are given and uh, they are minus 0 0.75 volt and uh, plus 0 0.8 volt respectively. So, since uh, we need to determine now, uh, which we need to find out which electrode is, uh, I mean which metal is uh, anode and which metal acts as cathode, the metal um, I have already told a um, couple of times, the metal with the low SRP value uh, tends to act as anode. So, this is anode, this acts as anode and uh, this is this cathode. So, that is what I have written here. Since uh, E naught of uh, zinc is uh, lower than the E naught of uh, silver, zinc electrode acts as anode and silver electrode acts as cathode. So, cell representation Zn slash uh, ZnSO4, anyways uh, even the, the concentration values are given. So, write the concentration values. The concentration of zinc sulphate is 0 0.18 molar and the concentration of silver nitrate is 0 0.0301 molar. Uh, write the values of uh, uh, the electrolytes given. Now, uh, um, we shall write the electrode reactions at the anode. So, this is anode, no? zinc is anode, therefore, zinc undergoes oxidation, very simple oxidation reaction. Zinc gives Zn2 plus, it forms Zn2 plus and electrons are released and uh, at uh, the cathode consumption of electrons takes place, Ag plus ions of silver nitrate get reduced as silver. So, Ag plus plus electron give Ag. So, this is the, uh, the cell reaction, Zn plus 2 Ag plus. So, these two electrons get cancelled. So, Zn plus 2 Ag plus gives Zn2 plus plus 2 Ag. And uh, which formula we should make use of? This E cell, the Nernst equation for uh, a cell E is equal to E naught minus 2.303, E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT divided by E 2.303 RT divided by NF log CC. So, this is C now, this is A, this is B, C, D. 
C rise to C A A A moles of A B moles of B C moles of C D moles of D right. So, C C C rise to C Z n 2 plus 1 A G A G is D is A G A G rise to this small d 2 divided by Z n a rise to a small a is 1 1 mole of zinc correct a g plus is to 2. So, E naught cell E naught cell is equal to E naught of see E naught of E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode minus E naught anode. So, cathode is here the cathode is silver therefore, it is 0 0.8 minus minus of minus 0 0.75. So, 0 0.8 minus of 0 0.76 I have taken ok this should have been 0 0.75 ok minus 2.303 R gas constant value 8.3143 T temperature it is uh, again, again there is a mistake in this 293 this should have been 293 okay, divided by n n value is 2 and uh, the value of f is 96500. So, log so, these two values are 1 the concentration of uh, uh, the zinc and uh, A g 1. So, this becomes 0 0.18 divided by 0 0.301, 0 0.0301 square. So, 1 point, uh, point 0.8 plus 0.75 is 1.55 volt minus 0. Point. So, after calculating this uh, becomes minus 0 this becomes 0 0.0674. So, 1.55 minus 0 0.0674. So, EMF of the cell is 1.4926 volt. So, next problem calculate the half cell potential at 298 Kelvin for the reaction Z n gives Z n 2 plus plus 2 electrons. Given Z n 2 plus the concentration of Z n 2 plus is 0 0.1 mole and uh, E naught is minus 0 0.76 volt. So, calculate the half cell potential. So, electrode potential we need to find at 298 Kelvin and the reaction is given. So, it is the oxidation of zinc Z n gives Z n 2 plus plus 2 electron. The concentration of Z n 2 plus is given it is 0 0.1 mole and uh, E naught E naught of uh, zinc is minus 0 0.76 volt. So, solution Z n 2 plus 0 point the concentration of Z n 2 plus is 0 0.1 mole E naught 0 0.76 volt and the value of N is 2. This is N right. So, the value of n is 2. So, applying Nernst equation for a single electrode potential E is equal to E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by n log m n plus this we have already derived right. So, this is the expression or this is the mathematical form of Nernst equation for a uh, single electrode potential E is equal to E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by n log m n plus. So, the value of the standard electrode potential is given the standard electrode potential of zinc is minus 0 0.76 volt plus 0 0.0591 divided by n the value of n is 2 and uh, log. So, the concentration of uh, Z n 2 plus is also given they have given the concentration of Z n 2 plus. So, 0.1 after uh, substituting these values, we will be getting the electrode potential.
the half cell potential, the potential of zinc electrode is minus 0 0.7895 volt. One more problem we shall solve with the help of uh, Nernst equation. Calculate the EMF of the cell in which the reaction is Mg plus 2Ag plus give Mg2 plus plus 2Ag. So, they have given the reaction when uh, Mg2 plus the concentration molar concentration of Mg2 plus is 0 0.13 whereas that of uh, the concentration of Ag plus is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 4 moles given that E naught of Ag plus slash Ag is 0 0.8 volt and E naught of Mg2 plus slash Mg is minus 2.37 volt. First properly we need to understand the given problem. They have uh, what uh, they are asking us to calculate the EMF of the cell. They have given the cell reaction, cell reaction is given. See this is the cell reaction Mg plus 2 Ag plus give Mg2 plus plus 2 Ag. This is the net cell reaction and uh, they have given the concentration values of Mg2 plus and Ag plus. The concentration of Mg2 plus is 0 0.13 molar whereas the concentration of Ag plus is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 4 mole. So, since uh, the standard electrode potential of magnesium, see we need to find out now which one is uh, anode, which electrode is anode and uh, which electrode is cathode. So, E naught of uh, Mg C is uh, lower than that of the E naught of Ag. So, magnesium acts as anode. First, we need to represent the cell Mg slash Mg2 plus two vertical lines. Ag plus slash Ag. Okay, here uh, um, uh, mention the concentration values. Mg2 plus concentration 0 0.13, and Ag plus concentration here uh, requires to be mentioned. Cell reaction at the anode, Mg gives Mg2 plus plus two electrons, and at the cathode, uh, Ag plus combines with uh, the electrons to two two Ag plus plus two electrons give two Ag. So the net cell reaction is. Mg plus 2 Ag plus give Mg2 plus plus 2 Ag. So, according to Nernst equation, Nernst equation we have already derived a um, couple of uh, problems, uh, similar problems. E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log C C D D A A B B. Therefore, E is equal to E naught, E naught cell, E naught of E naught cell is equal to E naught uh, cathode minus E naught anode. The cathode is Ag plus, right? So, Ag plus E naught of Ag plus slash Ag minus E naught. The anode is Mg, Mg slash, see, Mg, Mg2 plus. Therefore, it is Mg2 plus slash Mg. So, these two values are given 0 0.8 and uh, minus 2.37, 0 0.8 minus of minus 2.37 minus 0 0.0591 divided by n to log 0 0.13. See these two become 1, the, the molar concentrations of pure uh, solids, uh, more, the molar concentration is 1. Therefore, Mg2 plus divided by Ag plus substitute these values 0 0.13 the given values are see for Mg2 plus the concentration is 0 0.13 and for uh, Ag plus it is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So, we will be getting uh, the final answer yeah here it is E mf of the cell is 2.96 volt. So, one more problem based on uh, Nernst equation. Calculate the concentration of uh, nickel chloride in the nickel electrode having a potential of 0 0.16942 volt at 25 degree Celsius given that 
E naught of Na2 plus slash Na is equal to minus 0 0.14 volt. So, according to Nernst equation, E of Na2 plus slash Na is equal to E naught of E is equal to concentration of nickel chloride we need to determine. Now, we shall continue with the problem 6. Calculate the EMF of the cell in which the reaction is Mg plus 2Ag plus give Mg2 plus plus 2Ag when the concentration of Mg2 plus is 0 0.1, 0 0.13 molar and the concentration of Ag plus is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 molar. Given that E naught of Ag plus slash Ag is 0 0.8 volt and E naught of Mg2 plus slash Mg is minus 2.37 volt. First to understand the data given, they are asking us to determine the EMF of the cell. So, we need to determine the, we need to find out the EMF of the cell. The cell reaction is given, Mg combines with uh, Ag plus ions and the products are Mg2 plus and uh, Ag. The molar concentration of Mg2 plus and uh, Ag plus are given, 0 0.13, 1 into 10 to the 10 raised to the power minus 4 and the potential SRP values of silver and uh, uh, magnesium are given, they are 0 0.8 volt and uh, minus 2.37 volt respectively. Since E naught of Mg2 plus slash Mg is less than the E naught of uh, Ag plus slash Ag, magnesium is anode and uh, silver is cathode. So, this is how the cell is represented Mg slash Mg2 plus slash Ag plus slash Ag and the concentration values are given. So, uh, write the uh, represent the values, the concentration values, write the concentration values here, indicate the concentration values here 0 0.13 molar and uh, 1 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Uh, now, we shall give the cell reactions at the anode Mg gives Mg2 plus plus 2 electrons, oxidation occurs Mg gives Mg2 plus plus 2 electrons and at the cathode Ag plus plus electron give Ag. So, 2 Ag plus plus 2 electron give 2 Ag. So, the net reaction is Mg plus 2 Ag plus give Mg2 plus plus 2 Ag. So, according to Nernst equation E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log C raise to the power C D raise to the power D divided by A raise to the power A B raise to the power B. Uh, C raise to the power C, this is the stoichiometry of uh, the product C and this is the stoichiometry of the product D and uh, A raise to the power A, B raise to the power B. So, E is equal to E naught of uh, cathode minus E naught anode, right? E naught cathode minus E naught anode minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log. Uh, so, these two values so the, more the for pure solids as we know the molar concentrations are 1. So, E naught of Ag plus slash Ag minus E naught of Mg2 plus slash Mg minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log Mg2 plus divided by the molar concentration of Ag plus. So, 0 0.8 minus of minus 2.37 minus 0 0.0591 divided by N, the value of N is 2 log, substitute these values and calculate, you will be getting the EMF of the cell as 2.96 volt. So, 2.96 is the EMF of this uh, cell with the concentrations of Mg2 plus and Ag plus 0 0.13 molar and 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar respectively. So, we shall solve uh, one more numerical problem making use of uh, uh, Nernst equation. Calculate the concentration of nickel chloride in the nickel electrode having a potential of uh, 0 0.16942 volt at 25 degree Celsius given that E naught of Na2 plus slash Na is equal to minus 0 0.14 volt. So, they have given the value, this value they have given, it is minus 0 0.14 volt. So, we need to determine the concentration of nickel chloride, the concentration of Na2 plus we need to find out. So, according to Nernst equation E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N uh, log uh, uh, Mn plus or this equation also you can take. Okay. So, 
uh, since it is uh, 25 degrees Celsius, we can take uh, this one itself E is equal to E naught plus uh, 0 0.0591 divided by n log uh, m n plus. So, or even if we are taking this 2.303 RT, it is okay, it is fine, no problem. Then we will have to substitute these values, that is it. So, E naught of uh, Na2 plus slash Na is given minus 0 0.14 volt and even uh, this, uh, what is this, uh, uh, the potential of, uh, uh, what is this, then having a potential of uh, nickel, see uh, that value is also given, it is minus 0 0.16942. So, minus 0 0.16942 is equal to minus 0 0.14 which is the standard electrode potential of uh, nickel. Uh, this I have taken to the numerator therefore, plus 2.303 have substituted uh, uh, all these values 8.3143 uh, then uh, um, into 96500 divided by n the value is n. So, so, after substituting and calculating, we will be getting the concentration as 0 0.1011 molar. So, the concentration should be what in terms of uh, it should be in moles, right. So, last problem, what is the concentration of Na2 plus in the cell given below at 25 degrees Celsius? If the EMF is 0 0.601 volt, Na, see this is the cell given, the cell is uh, made of nickel and copper Na slash Na2 plus, this concentration we need to find out, C2 plus concentration is 0 0.75 molar slash Cu given E naught of Ni slash Na2 plus is 0 0.25 volt and E naught of Cu2 plus slash Cu is equal to plus 0 0.34 volt. So, first uh, understand the data given, we need to determine the concentration of uh, this uh, Na2 plus ions and they have given the E naught values of Cu2 plus C, Cu2 plus the electrode copper Cu2 plus slash Cu plus 0 0.34 volt and uh, Ni slash Na2 plus. See, it is the value my plus 0.25 volt is E naught of Na slash Na2 plus, it is the oxidation potential. Since we need to consider the reduction potential, this will be minus 0 0.25 volt. This is the oxidation potential 0 0.25 volt. So, E naught of Ni slash Na2 plus is 0.25 volt, therefore E naught of Ni2 plus slash Ni is minus 0.25 volt. So, carefully understand the, please understand the data given, then uh, start solving the problem. So, this is minus 0.25 volt. At the anode, Na gives Na2 plus Na under nickel undergoes oxidation to give Na2 plus plus 2 electrons and uh, the reaction that takes place at the cathode is Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons uh, give uh, Cu, right. So, the net reaction is uh, Na plus uh, Cu2 plus give Na2 plus plus uh, Cu. So, according to Nernst equation, we all very well know E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT divided by NF log Cc, C rise to the power C, D rise to the power D, A rise to the power A, B rise to the power B. So, substitute these values, all the values given, we need to determine the concentration of Na2 plus after substituting all these values and uh, see log Na2 plus we will be getting. So, after calculating the, uh, calculate the anti log of it, then we will be getting 0 0.3187 moles. So, this is the concentration of Na2 plus.